Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently than my standard um, makeup videos that I've been doing. This is uh, something that I actually figured out how to do on my own and I wanted to kind of share with you how to do it. Now with iMovie, it's a little bit tricky because you don't have everything in iMovie that you would have in Final Cut Pro. With iMovie you have to be kind of creative. So I finally figured out how to do multiple video split screens, but using collages. So today I'm going to show you how to do that because I know, I'm pretty sure I know that a lot of people who use iMovie would love to do something like this, but uh, sometimes we can't really figure out how to do it. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to use PicMonkey.com and click the collage icon and I'm going to um, select a green screen photo that is in PNG format but I'm not going to use it as a green screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through the layouts of collages of what I want to use and kind of go through and select the ones that I want. So once I have kind of went through them and selected the one that I want which is this one, I'm going to drag the photo into the collage. Now you can go to edit and kind of uh, click the spacing if you want borders or not it's up to you and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a PNG file and put it in my desktop so I can easily find it. I'm now going to drag the collage photo that we have into iMovie and I'm going to click the crop tool and click um, fit so it doesn't move around and it kind of fits the screen. Now clicking on the iMovie library, this only works in the iMovie library, this um, crop option. You're going to select what you want, you're going to click the crop. This only works for if it's in the iMovie library. And when you click crop, you can actually crop it any way you want. So I'm just going to crop it so it kind of fits with the collage that we have. And I'm going to click enter. So now I'm going to kind of look for it because I couldn't find it before. So once I've found it, which is right here, I'm going to drag that over onto the collage photo. Now that I've done that, where it says cutaway in the crop area or the crop option, I'm going to click picture in picture and drag this over the green screen photo. And I'm just going to put it in place where I want it and I'm going to drag it down. Once I've dragged it down, I'm going to click where um, it fades in and out. I don't want it to fade, so I'm just going to put 0 or 0.0. .0. And this is kind of what it looks like. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of split the clip because it kind of extends and I don't want it to extend. So I'm just going to split that into place. And this is kind of what it looks like. So now, because we can't do multiple overlays, I'm going to click um, the share icon or the file or save. I'm going to click file and I'm going to click next. And I'm going to save it to my desktop and just name it whatever and save it onto my desktop. Now I'm just going to drag the um, clip that we just saved into iMovie. Okay, so now selecting the clip that I want for the second overlay, I'm going to go to the crop option, which you can only do in the iMovie library. And I'm going to crop it to the way that I like in the same shape that we have before. And I'm going to uh, put it as an overlay, go to cutaway, and do picture in picture. I'm just going to drag it and then place it beside the other video. Now once I've done that, I'm going to go where um, the overlay option is. And I'm going to place it back to zero because I don't want it to fade in and out.
I'm now going to save it in the file and I am going to just save it the same way that we saved it before. I'm now going to take the clip that we just saved and I'm going to bring it over once again into iMovie. I'm now going to do the same thing again by cropping it and then placing it over the clip as an overlay. I'm now going to go to the overlay icon, not the crop one, <laughs> and I'm just going to go picture and picture. I'm just going to do the same thing by dragging it and then placing it to where we want it to go or placing it so it's like, you know, they're all in the same length. And once I've got it to what I want, I want to just put um, zero on the fade so they all don't fade. And this is basically what it looks like. And that's how you do that. And now I'm just going to save it.